Hello there, yes, you. Are you sick of your horse? Are you done looking at its horsey form and its horsey legs? Is your horse not even a laughing horse? <laughs> the sound of your laughter brings me such joy. Well, fear not, because I'm here to save the day as I give you an easy way to acquire, well, five whole new mounts. Why did I specify whole? You're not gonna be running around on half an animal, just blood trail as it bleeds out. Anyway, five new mounts for each and every one of you Lost Ark players as we adventure through this beautiful world. Let's get this started. To begin with then is one you may have seen around, you may have heard of it, hell, you might already have it yourself, but it's one worth pointing out. The Grey Stripe Raptor it is only one of its kind, and you can get it pretty much as soon as you get to Vern. It is a reward for 30% completion on the Adventurous Tome, which you should almost all but get to from just, well, adventuring around to get to endgame, slash completing the story here. If you need a bit of a boost, well, just run around to the other zones, collecting tripods, you get 0.7% per. There's also an extra dungeon uh, for you to do, and you can do dungeons on normal and high. And generally just kind of run around doing every little bit to help everyone that you can and you'll be there in no time You can then claim it and you have your Raptor It has the run ability which makes you go a lot lot faster for a short time Which is really good at getting around the place So next up then then remaining on theme with mounts you'll get via questing We must turn our attention to the cold north of Shushire, where you will indeed be offered a wolf, a frosty ice wolf, that will be your new loyal companion. It's a massive upgrade from the horse, and this is probably the first mount that you'll kind of bump into and it's just been handed you, but it's important you know about it in case you're putting off doing Shushire, as technically you can skip the entirety of Shushire and still progress in every other aspect of the game, go straight to Rohendel, and I know this because I have still well, barely started in Shushire, so yeah, this is one that is worth being aware of, and honestly, generally questing through each main landmass is 100% worth it, because you do get a lot of goodies, including in this case, the Ice Wolf, that you'll be offered about 30% of your way into the zones, so that is one to be aware of. Is it a chicken? Is it a llama? Is it a llama chicken? The truth has been lost to time. All that we do know is it's adorable! What a cute animal! I love it! I mean, it's basically a chocobo ripoff, but still, it's very, very endearing. So this Cham Curry then is a reward for the quest lines in Rohendel. Rohendel is where you'll be going on the far left of the continent once uh, you reach the required item level of around 440 and it is post Shushire, though you don't need to uh, do Shushire to actually get there. You can just hard travel over there and begin the quest line. Even if your ship gets destroyed along the way, you can just still roll up and dock and and have at it. About 30-40% of the way through the main story, you will be rewarded with your Cham Curry, who shares the run ability with the Raptor and is an all-round fantastic mount. As a quick note as well, on day 20 of your login rewards, you do get a choice of another Cham Curry of a different colour as well, so you can start a nice little collection of these guys. And for the next mount, well, it's kind of a double, and in fact it leads to one of the rarest, hardest to get, and most beautiful mounts in the game, but there is also so an easier to get version of it, I'll pass you over to Mr. Cotton. Finally, I depart on a journey to the sea where anything could happen. Oh, Turtle Island. It's just an island with a turtle. I don't know what I expected. I maybe undersold it in the intro because while there is just a turtle there, there is also maybe another person there as part of a quest that will then give you the Jewel Coral, which you can trade at a luxury goods vendor in a major city for your very own yellow or blue turtle mount. Because who the hell just wouldn't want the very own cute little turtle mount? So yeah, basically head to Turtle Island, complete the quest line, and then you can go to a luxury goods vendor and swap the reward for a, a turtle tortoisey mount. 
Though there is also a golden tortoise, and this is a much more, well, extensive endeavor, and it's one that you get as a reward for completing 25 islands and getting 25 island tokens, which will take you a while, but this is quite the resplendent mount, and, well, not a lot of people will have this for a good long while. Finally, then, it would be remiss if I didn't mention uh, two, uh, well, almost similar mounts, but not kind of really. In any case, you need to make sure that you log on to Lost Ark before March and you will be rewarded with a, well, launch celebration gift. As part of this launch celebration gift, you can essentially choose between a armored Pegasus mount. And, well, white or black are the options. It has some incredible, fun little emote abilities for you to use, and is, of course, a legendary mount on top of that. Its dash is this winged charge, and it's generally just absolutely badass. So don't accidentally leave that unclaimed or not notice, or don't log in. You really want to be getting it on top of all the other goodies contained within that box. And on the notion of armored horse-like mounts, I also want to draw your attention to the shop because, look, if I'm going to talk about mounts and easy to get, well, of course, there is the fancy schmancy ones for Royal Crystals. Whether they're worth the money or not is up for you to decide, but specifically, there is indeed the Explorer Starter Pack, which does indeed come with an absolutely gorgeous black and gold, blue flowy cloth, just amazing armored horse for you to be getting on with. So if you are late to the game or want a little bit of a boost in terms of well, just really good stuff that you can get on top of a new little lion pet, some supplies, hell, you get an aura with it, of course, and uh, the Diorica Warhorse mount. Well, there are definitely worse investments to make if you see yourself sticking around long term and uh, consider it a worthy sort of starter price for the otherwise free-to-play game. Not that I'm fully recommending you go for it, but it is something to make note of that wasn't there in uh, the early access that you might not have noticed thus far. So there you go, everybody. That is your laundry list of mounts you can go get, where you get them from, and for the most part, you probably bump into a lot of them, but they're worth taking note of. There's not actually a huge amount of mounts in the game, but what there are are very, very nicely done. So, on that note then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this. Like if you did, subscribe for more. Please consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye